first find 0.4 divided by 2 0.35 divided by 5 2.48 divided by 4 65.4 divided by 6 and similarly rest of the questions first 0.4 divided by 2 so you write 4 as it is whatever is in decimal with 1 and then number of digits after decimal towards right hand side by 0 then divide as it is 2 by 1 where it is nothing written you can take it as 1 then 4 by 10 now multiplication and flipping so divide sign becomes multiplication with the condition that whatever is after that by which we are dividing is flipped so 2 over 1 becomes 1 over 2 now cutting opportunity 1 2 is a 2 2 2 is a 4 2 upon 10 you write the number as it is count the number of zeros here it is one zero therefore place after one digit words left hand side here 35 over 100 1 then 0 0 divided by 5 by 1 now 35 by 100 as it is division into multiplication and then flipping it 1 over 5 1 5 is a 5, 7 5 is a 35. Now writing 7 as it is, counting number of zeros, these are 2, they were 1, 2, 0 0.07, 248 as it is, decimal with 1, number of digits after decimal, 2, therefore 2 zeros, divided by 4 over 1, writing 248 over 100 as it is, division to multiplication and flipping it, 1 over 4, cutting opportunity. 1 4 is a 4, then 4 6 is a 24, then remainder is 0, then 4 to the 8, therefore 62 over 100. Writing 62 as it is, counting number of zeros 2, therefore placing after 2 digits 1, 2, 654 as it is, now decimal with 1, 4 with 0, because only 1 digit. This as it is, writing 654 over 10, division to multiply, 6 over 1 is 1 over 6. Now 1, 6 is 6, 6, 1 is 6, 5 is less, therefore we take 0, and now we have 54. So 6, 9 is 54. This is simple division. Now writing 109, only 1, 0, therefore after one digit so 10.9 6512 as it is decimal with one number of digits one therefore one zero same now 6512 as it is over 10 as it is division to multiplication and flipping it one over four cutting opportunity one four is a four now four ones are four two is remainder and we have 25 so four six are 24 Again, one remainder, we have 11. So, 4 to the 8. Now, 3 to 32. So, 4 to the 32. This gives you 1, 2, 6, 8. You write 1, 2, 6, 8. Count the number of zeros. 1, therefore, after one digit. 6. So, this is 162.8. 14, 49 as it is. Decimal with one number of digits two therefore two zeros the same Then writing this again here Division to multiplication and flipping it one over seven cutting opportunity one seven is a seven So two sevens are fourteen Then four is less therefore we take zero and drop this value as well So it is 49 now so seven sevens are 49 So 207 but two zeros therefore after two digits one two so 2.07 396 decimal with one number of digits two therefore two zeros divided by four now this as it is division to multiplication one over four one four is a four and four nines are 36 three remainder again 36 so four nines are 36 now 99 over 100 99 as it is counting zeros two therefore one so answer is 0.99.
last part 80 as it is upon 100 you know why it came now divided by 5 this as it is again now flipping it 1 over 5 cutting opportunity 1 5 is a 5 5 and the 5 3 remainder 3 0 so 5 6 or 30 this is 16 as it is now counting zeros 2 give 1 2 so this was the last part of question number first second find First, 4.8 divided by 10, 52.5 divided by 10, 0.7 divided by 10, and other questions. First part, 4.8 divided by 10. Now, what you observe in this question? By 10, division by 10. All questions have division by 10. So, we have read in this chapter, division by 10, 100, 1000 leads to shifting of decimal point in the dividend words left and side so this is your dividend from which you are dividing is your dividend as many times as the number of seats. so it is reverse of what we have learned in case of multiplication shifting of decimal takes place towards right hand side so we will write this as it is or just forget the decimal while doing it so 48 then you count the number of zeros initially it was here you have to move one digit towards which side left side so this is the idea second write five to five first written and then only one zero we have to shift only one digit towards left hand side initially we were at here and we shift by one we go here answer is 5.25 here write seven as it is so moving only to one place Words left because only one zero so initially we were here now move it so 0 0.07 writing 331 first then only one zero that is one displacement towards left hand side initially we were here so answer is 3.31 write 27223 as it is then only one shifting again in all these questions we are doing one shifting because it is all dividing by 10 so initially we were here we were here so one shift makes 27.223 writing 56 as it is only one shift again towards left so initially we were before 5 so when we move here we have to introduce one more zero that's why this zero came and this zero we have to write prior decimal last part 397 as it is one decimal shift initially we were here so we moved one place so answer is 0 0.397 that's your second third find 2.7 divided by 100 point 0.3 divided by 100 point 0.78 divided by 100 now we have to divide by 100 now here you have to divide by 100 all the numbers are 100 Therefore, division by 10, 100,000 leads to shifting of decimal point, same as the previous question. The only difference is only that one additional zero is present here. So, 2.7, first write 27 as it is, two digit shift. In all these questions, we will shift two digits because we are dividing by 100. Initially, we were here, so 1, 2. Answer is 0 0.027. Done. Now, writing 3 as it is, two shift. Initially, we were here. So, 1, 2, 0 0.003, writing 78 as it is, 2 shift, initially we were here. The step is, first get the initial position, then move 2 steps, 1, 2, so 0 0.0078. Now write this whole number, 4, 3, 2, 6, 2 shift, initially we were here, then 2 moves, 1, 2, 4.326. 236 to shift from this point 1 2 so 0.236 had it been multiplication then we would have moved towards right hand side now 9853 two shifts from this position so 1 2 answer is 0.9853 that's third fourth find First, 7.9 divided by 1000 
26.3 divided by 1000 now you have to divide with 1000 divided by 1000 that means 3 shift because we have 3 zeros 1 2 3 writing 79 as it is initially we were here so 1 2 3 that's answer now 263 as it is 3 shifts from this position so here we are 1 2 3 so point zero two six three three eight five three three eight five three three eight five three three shifts from this position here we are one two three point zero three eight five three now one two eight nine three shifts from this position so one two three then this one five as it is now we were here three shifts one two three so answer is point zero 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 five had it been ten thousand then we would have shifted from this position four number times so answer would have been in that case one two three four that would have been zero point zero 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 five that is your fourth fifth find seven divided by three point five 36 divided by 0 0.2, 3.25 divided by 0 0.5. Now we have to divide with different other numbers apart in 100 or tens. 7 as it is, division as it is. 35 over 10, you know why? Now 7 as it is, multiplication and flipping it. Multiplication is followed by flipping the divisor. So 10 over 35, cutting opportunity. 5 sevens are 35, 1 seven is 7. So 5 was left here and with 10 we can cut it 1 5 is a 5 2 5 is a 10 so 2 into 1 is 2 the whole number 36 as it is division as it is you go over 10 representing decimal in terms of fractions 36 as it is division to multiplication and flipping it and over 2 cutting a portionity 1 2 is a 2 18 to the 36 18 into 10 is 180 the whole number again 3 to 5 over 100, you know how it came, division by 5 over 10, just converting it into fraction, then writing this thing as it is, then flipping it, because multiplication has been introduced, 10 over 5, now 0, 0 cancel, 1, 0 is cancel, 1 is still left here, 1, 5 is a 5, 5, 6 is a 30, 2 is the remainder, so it becomes 25, and 5, 5 is a 25, so 65 over 10, Write 65 first of all, count the number of 0, 1, therefore after 1 place, 6.5. Here, 3094 and 100 is same. Writing this thing again here, multiplication, flipping, 10 over 7. Now 1010 cancel, 17 is 7, then 74 is a 28, 2 is remainder, 29. 7 for the 28 again, so 1 is remainder, 1, 4, so 2, 7 is a 14, or 7, 2 is a 14, therefore 4, 4, 2, but it was division by 10, over 1, 0, 1 place, 5 over 10, divide by 25 by 100, 5 over 10, multiplication, flipping it, flipped, 1, 0, 0, cancel, then this thing, 1 5 is a 5, 5 5 is a 25, here it is 5, here it is 10, divisible, 1 5 is a 5, 2 5 is a 10, doing whole number, 7 7 5 over 100, divided by 25 over 100, now this thing same here, division to multiplication, then 100 over 25 flipped, 100 100 cancel, and this 25 1 is a 25, and then 25 3 is a 75 now 2 is remainder in 25 and 25 1 is a 25 so 31 is the whole number again now this thing you know how it came now multiplication flipped it 100 0, 0, cancel 115 is a 15 15 5 is a 75 1 5 15 1 is a 15 so 51 multiplication with 10 gives you 510 whole number you know till here how it came you also know till here just multiplication this thing is flipped 10 over 14 
now this cuts 10 10 cuts now this can be turned into simplest form 7 to the 14 2 1 the 2 1 7 2 8 the 16 1 8 2 9 the 18 now this thing can be simplified further 1 7 the 7 then 7 to the 14 4 9 so 7 7 the 49 27 you will know it gradually with more practice you know this how it came you also know this how it came then multiplication 10 over 13 flipped 1 0 cancel out 13 minus 13 13 to the 26 27 minus 26 is 1 now you have 1 3 so which is 13 minus 13 so 21 over 10 it is easy 2.1 That's your fifth. Sixth, a vehicle covers a distance of 43.2 km in 2.4 liters of petrol. How much distance will it cover in one liter of petrol? Here it is your Audi car. Then in 2.4 liter of petrol, it drives you to 43.2 km. Now the question is simple. We will use unitary method. How much distance? will it cover using one liter of petrol so one liter of petrol will drive vehicle for simply divide it with two over four same thing can be represented as this thing this is division sign and this is also true how 432 over 10 divided by 24 over 10 now simplifying it this thing as it is division to multiplication and flip it then over 24 10 10 straight away cancel out 12 to the 24 2 to the 4 2 1 the 2 1 is the remainder 1 2 2 6 the 12 now 2 6 the 12 2 1 the 2 0 2 8 the 16 now 108 and 6 1 6 the 6 then 6 1 the 6 4 is remainder 48 so 6 8 the 48 Therefore, 18 km. What does it mean? It means this car can travel to 18 km using 1 liter of petrol. That was your last question, question number 6th.